I'm filing an exploratory committee tomorrow, uh, and I'm going to make an announcement about my plans on January 12th. Uh, you know, some people might say that it's early, uh, but uh, you know, I I believe that uh, you have to be decisive, uh, and you know, I have had a very strong vision for the future of the country, uh, and I'm going to spend the next few weeks traveling and listening to folks and getting a sense of where people are at, but uh, you know, I know where I'm leaning, for sure. We have the most divisive president that we've had in our lifetime. Uh, a president that is not trying in any way, shape, or form to bring the country together. Uh, I think that we should have leadership in D.C. that's trying to bring people together. You're going to have a very crowded field. A lot of people are going to run in this Democratic primary. And that's going to be good for both the party and for the country. Uh, it's going to be good for Democrats to get a sense of people of different backgrounds with different perspectives. Uh, I think, in fact, that it's going to be cathartic after what happened in 2016. The people of San Antonio have known about uh, Julian and his brother. Uh, there are folks that have a bigger platform. There are people that have a bigger bank account. Uh, there are people that have more name ID. But you know, I was thinking the other day, I don't think at any time in my life that I've started out as a front runner at something. If you go to the neighborhood that I grew up around, there's nobody there that starts off as a front runner. And so not starting off as a front runner doesn't bother me at all.